Hello guys, what is going on and welcome to episode number 11 of our Minecraft Let's Play. So, I've done so much work off camera that I figured I didn't really care to record and show you guys. Villager Beater, who knew that Windows and Villager Beaters makes it look so much better? We have so many villagers now. We have more room, we have iron golems, we have so many beds. And an iron golem stuck inside the bed. A crafting table floating. And what librarians do we have? This guy is a mending librarian. Yes, we have mending on the multiplier now. And this guy is a knockback 2, which we put on our sword. We have looting 2, which is on our sword, but we combine it with looting 3. And then we have fire aspect 2. So our diamond sword is absolutely smoking i guess you could call it it now has fire aspect to unbreaking three sharpness four looting three and mending and we also have a knockback two sword what or book i should say which um we are going to put on our sword once we get to level 33 so we're gonna be doing a little bit of grinding the mob farm over there is pretty much pointless now that we have villager trading to get xp but um, there's a reason I got all those beds in the villager breeder. I went into the spruce biome, actually, and got some leaves to decorate, which I might end up taking down later. So, we have a sheep farm, just a basic base sheep farm. Nothing too special, if I do say so. Just go in here, shear the sheep. Didn't feel the need to put that on camera. So, we have 37 wheat, or wool, and then we take this wheat that I keep in the chest. And you breed the sheep, which means we can shear more sheep, which means more wool, which means more beds. So these sheep don't, um, these sheep aren't to be killed for their meat. They are going to be living a good life. I went to this, like I said, went to the spruce, put down a floor in this area right here. So it looks pretty good. Up here, I was breeding so many cows. I have so many cows. Like, it's not even, I'm gonna need more wheat, I've been breeding these things up so much. And there's a sheep in my cow farm. Bye. But these cows, they're gonna be need, needing to be exterminated one day. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so to start off today's episode, we are going to be making the interior and a little bit of the exterior of our storage room. So, that means we are gonna need to fill it up with chests. And organize it. This might take a while and might even take up the entire episode. I'm not quite sure. But we're going to go ahead get a head and get a head start. Oh, I forgot to say. Of course, I got mending on all of that. And I'm looking for protection for, for one of the villagers. But I have not gotten that quite yet. But that's okay. So, going to go ahead and get quite a bit of wood. Quite a bit of wood. And, um... Any more wood? Doesn't look like it. Wood. Oh, yep. Birch. For some reason. Um, we should make everything into planks. Chesty? Chesty Westy? Uh, 30. Okay, that amounts to about 15. So we're gonna go ahead and put these down here. So we can actually transport our goods. And end up organizing them. So, we have so much space in our storage room. I really do like it. The way, like, we have little canopies out here. We can put decoration. Um, yeah, I really do enjoy it. But we're going to make a roof sometime, too. I'm just kind of lazy. Um, yep, I guess we could honestly do it like this. That would look better. Probably. Could have it up to go to there. And then, like, so. Have it go up three layers of chests. And then like that. Oh my goodness, that looks... That's This is gonna be good, I'm telling you. So... I'm gonna get a lot of wood. So we can get a lot more chests to fill up that. And, you know, have a space to... Um... You know, store our goods. Store. Like that's House can be our furnace area, cause, so I don't have to build an entirely new area for furnaces, and then not have anything inside our house. So, 
Okay, so before I do that, I kind of want to get some signs. So we can, you know, label the chests. Um, we're going to need to cut more wood, darn it. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and start transporting. We have a, we have, okay, 15 signs. We'll go ahead and start. This can be wood blocks. All right, so do we have any wooden blocks in here? We do. Oh, uh, we should probably go ahead and just get all this stuff out of here. Out of the chest, please. Um, we can have wood items. So, like, sticks. Stuff like that. Uh, we don't have any wood items. Um, we can have... We'll put cobblestone right here. So, cobble. Cobblestone. And then we can put down... Just cobblestone. Not even cobblestone stairs. Just cobblestone. Um, we can put... Stone. Stone. Items. So, anything... Stone related that's not cobblestone. So, like, for example, stone and stone bricks. Oh, and also wooden items, I forgot. It can also be, like, leaves, I guess, because it comes off a tree. Oak saplings. Um, what could go right here? What else, dude? Okay. It's time to take a quick detour. We're going to visit an old world and see what I had in my storage. It is my old world. It's called Legacy CP. So, we're going to join it. Um, and see what I had in my storage, because I had a really good storage, so, really good storage, um, uh, building, building, not the outside, just, the outside was lame, the inside, though, is what was good, so I played in this world for a couple months, a couple months, so this is not, I mean, yeah, I'm, uh, where are we, oh, we're at the attempted iron farm, we have our elytra on? No, we don't even have our elytra. Okay, let's go over here to the city. And go to the storage. Opportunity to look at. So we have, we just need sharpness 5 on our diamond sword. And then for our pickaxe, we just need efficiency 5. So that's what we're lacking. I also had an enchanted trident. That's pretty cool. But we're going to head up here. This was the old villager breeder. Don't care if they get out. I don't play in this anymore. Uh, we had the librarian sorted. And then for some reason, some of them just randomly died. This world's pretty laggy, as you guys already assume. My armor is full netherite. Kind of flex flexing. I need to stop flexing. Um, we have the mining villager, who was the first one. Just some random stuff. A full... A double beacon. But for the thing... That matters. It's this is the the, the storage room. Um, I took emeralds because I thought it looked cool. So we got andesite, diorite, and granite. Scaffolding. Tools, equipment. Food and crops. Okay, that's a big one. Dirt. Wool, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous torches. And then this is just ore. And then random stuff I gained over the kelp and other ocean stuff. Ocean monument. Items. Up here we had a bunch of shulker boxes. So, alright, anyway, this is my main house, and, um, I built this cool little pathway bridge, I built a trident, uh, not sure exactly what this is, it's like half oak, half birch, we have a community farm, this was a multiplayer world, so that's why there's so many houses and so many, like, um, community board, because it wasn't a public, like, if you were my friend in real life, I trusted you, you could join, but we need to get on track, you know, maybe I'll do a Legacy CP World Tour one day, but we need to get on track and build our, uh, uh storage, why do I, why do I, I'm done, I'm done, <laughs> that took so long, probably like 30 minutes, but, Yep, I did add 
nether blocks and other items. So, yep, these er, that is done. So yeah. So what I'm thinking is we have a sheep farm with a canopy, and the canopy ha is covered in is made out of pumpkins. So we got the pumpkin vibe, and then we put in sheep that are the colors of like Halloween. So you know you got your orange, obviously. You got your green, I guess, for kind of zombies. I think of green as Halloween themed, and also some purple, because, I don't know, in my opinion, um, those three are definitely Halloween themed. So, with that being said, we need a place to build it, and I know exactly where I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna build it over there. So, we're gonna need pumpkins. We already have we have a lot of that's good. I didn't know we had that many. Come out, okay. One, two, three. Holy crap! Holy crap! One. We have four right here. Whoops. Four. I guess I could just breed them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is enough. Come on, sheep. We should have to speed up their growth. Is it enough? Well, yeah, if this dude would come along, it'd be enough. And then his AI is being stupid. Get in here. Thank you. Sheep have been successfully located in their farm. So that's all good. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right. I think it's about time we collect the dyes. So we're going to need two orange. But we're in a flower fort. Yeah, there's orange ones right there for green might be an issue I think we might need cacti and cacti is something I don't think we have I don't think we have cactus so orange yeah orange go we go actually we only need one cuz wait never mind we're gonna need two so that's for the two orange ones there we go. There we go. That should be two. Okay. It is. So we just need green. Like I said, we're going to be needing to find a desert for that. So, yeah, unless we have any, we're going to be needing to find a desert. Alright. Purple. Purple. Alrighty. Orange, orange, and then these two guys will be green. So that's pretty Halloween themed, I'd say. We just need to find a desert. Franklin! It's time to find a desert. I think I might, I might cut some of this out and cut our adventure part out until we find the desert. Because I don't want to bore you guys. So yeah. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I just found a mesa biome. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's also a village. Mesa biome. Let's go. There's got to be deserts over here close to this mesa. Yep, yep, yep. And there's another village. There's a cactus. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, and there's one of those, like, the oak. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the, the oak tree... The bad land, or the, I don't know, but it's good. So this is, holy crap, we could like, I don't know, but this is, I'm just, wow. Move along, move along, thank you. Cactus. Man, I was just looking for a desert. I did not, in the least bit. Expect to find this. Wow, we cactus everywhere. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> the last I've returned home from my journey to the Mesa biome, Franklin. You can go there. Gonna go ahead and steal this, eh? Feed it to you, so you're all good on that. We got ourselves. 11 cactuses should be good enough. Um, 
yeah, before I waste all of it, this is just gonna plant some temporary cactus down. There we go. That'll work. So yeah, we can go ahead and head to sleep, smell our cactus, dye our sheep, and finish up our sheep thingy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Sheep have been dyed. So, how many blocks up do I want it to go? One, two, three. That's not what's supposed to happen. Two, three. Alright. We need more. We just need stuff. Alright, it's time to put pumpkins here. We're not going to have enough, so I either might finish it off camera, or I might just go ahead and AFK and get pumpkins. Is that good? Is that good? I guess it is. So they don't get in the way. And then there we go. So, yeah. I think... Yeah, well, obviously, I'm gonna need more pumpkins, so... I'm gonna go there by the pumpkin farm. And AFK for a bit, so I will be back soon enough. This is our last pumpkin that we need for um, our farm. But like you guys just saw, I found a wild baby pink sheep. Like, what? Like, well, um, pink sheep is actually still alive. I He's now an adult, but he's over here. There he is. That, that was a wild pink sheep. But now that... Um, in, we've completed our storage room. I'm not gonna transport the ores, by the way, unless, um, maybe in the future I change my mind, but we don't have many ores at the moment, and we can just, you know, the main thing we have is redstone, and you can just convert them all into redstone blocks, saves so much space. But now that we have our Halloween sheep farm complete, <clears throat> and, you know, the storage is fine, I think it's about time to end off today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you for 1,000 views on Monday's video, the free DLC. I do appreciate that a lot. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Minecraft Let's Play, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.